Hi friends, Andre Dowdy here. Learn something with me, please. So what is blackface? Blackface was this theatrical makeup that was used to represent black people. Uh, it was mostly worn by non-black people, white people. You see, white actors wore blackface in the 1800s and they were acting out racist stereotypes and dehumanizing black Americans. And after putting on blackface, they performed in these minstrel shows. And what are minstrel shows? Well, minstrel shows are basically like uh, all that, uh, Saturday Night Live, a mad TV, in living color, uh, some type of a variety skit type of show, similar to a Key and Peele or to a Chappelle show, and where they had these skits and these comedic moments and, and music and dance and rhythm and laughter. But the difference was, is in these minstrel shows, they often depicted black people as negative things in these minstrel shows. And what happens when you do something and it gets popular? You continue to do more and more of them. So around the nation, all these different minstrel shows were playing the caricatures of black people. And instead of putting on theatrical paint, they ended up putting on like uh, grease and, and shoe polish. And instead of just showing a regular smile, they started to make the smile bigger, almost like Joker but they were playing up on the racist ideas of the black stereotypes. They continued to devalue and dehumanize what a black person looked like inside of these shows. They would make sure that they would pull out every stereotype that they could think of to dehumanize a race. And what happens is when people see uh, the same show over and over, it becomes a reality. You, 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 you the laziest man I ever did see. What's wrong with you and I? What's wrong with you? I'm tired, oh, tired. I'm tired nothing. You, you can do nothing longer than anybody I ever did see. But I don't feel well. What, what, what's wrong with you? Seems like every time I start to blow, I get some feeling. I had a feeling like that once. Sadly, minstrel shows were one of the very few opportunities where blacks could get into the entertainment industry. So imagine a Sammy Davis Jr. who could play multiple instruments, who could sing, who could dance, who was a comedian, not being able to get any work, but only through a minstrel show. You see, that was the only way they could get work. And this is why it is called blackface. So why is blackface so offensive? It is very difficult to separate the history of blackface and what it meant through the minstrel shows to just having fun today. It is very difficult because of the history. We've got to remember that its history is embedded in dehumanizing a black American. The history of blackface is to discredit, is to show and pull out every negative stereotype of a black person. Big lips, big nose, big eyes, can only sing, can only dance. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, madam. No, madam. Coming for to carry me home. Later, later, later. Let that be a lesson to you. What's the matter with you, boy, shooting up that man's hen house? I'll shoot any chicken trying to follow me home. Well, why don't you get a job and go to work? Y'all almost had me a job this morning. Where? I went down to the post office and that man couldn't let me have one of them jobs as a letter told him. No, Cotton, you mean a mail carrier. And the man said if he could give me a situation, he'd have to put me through a simple service examination. No, stupid. You mean a civil service examination. Mammy. Mammy. The sunshine beats, the sunshine sweats, but I know where the sunshine bends. Mammy, Mammy, my heart strings are tangled around. Alabama, I'm a coming. Sorry, I made you wait. 
I, I'm coming. I hope and trust I'm not late. Mammy, Mammy. I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles on my man. It's very difficult to separate the history of what blackface means and then dressing up for fun and play today. Those who decide to wear blackface is making a choice. It's just that simple. With all of the social media, with all of the international news and national news covering what blackface is, and all of the information online telling you not to go in blackface, not to put on bronzer and portray a character, all of that, if they are doing it today, they chose to do it. Anybody who says, I didn't know better, or I, I didn't think it was a problem, or I didn't know that was offensive. Anyone who's saying, I didn't know better, they are lying. You see, when you go into blackface, when you put on bronzer, whether it be one of those acne masks and then you take a picture of it and you're like, do I look like so-and-so? No matter how you do it, when you do it, it's wrong. So how can you help? I'm so glad you asked. It's simple. When your friends forward you blackface, don't just press LOL or a meme or a gif and keep moving. Speak up. Yes, you. I'm talking to you right here. Yes, speak up. So when you go to these parties and you see someone in blackface, then you got to speak up. Yes, you're at a sorority party. Yes, they're dressed up as Nicki Minaj. You got to speak up. Yes, it may be your family member. You got to speak up. Your silence means that you're participating in it and that you're okay with it. You've got to speak up. You see someone taking a picture, you got to speak up. Someone forwarded to you on social media, you got to speak up. You got to blast them out. You've got to. That's the only way we're going to stop it. Because if you don't speak up, you're continuing that racist legacy. Chew on this.